I want to follow up on John Dering's research. His work indicates there was secret technology being developed in Nazi-occupied Central Europe, which might account for some of the UFO sightings. These are the Sudeten Mountains on the Polish-Czech border. During World War II, this beautiful valley was home to some of the finest scientific minds of the Third Reich. It was here that the Nazis built one of their underground research facilities, the Wenceslas Mine. I'm meeting Polish military historian Igor Witkowski, who will guide me round the mine, a vast underground complex hidden away from Allied bombs, which Nazi slave labor carved out of the Sudeten Mountains. Uh, example of, uh, of a surface infrastructure uh, being kind of a reflection of the, of the underground festival. Here, in the desperate last months of the war, that German scientists worked around the clock to produce Kriegensscheiden, the war-winning technology that might produce a stunning knockout blow, even as the Nazis were being pushed back towards Germany. As Igor guided me through the flooded tunnels, the air became heavy and difficult to breathe. So in effect, we've come hundreds of meters through this complex, and we're now deep into the mountain. Not hundreds of meters, but several kilometers, in fact. We've several, this, this is several, several kilometers. kilometers into the mountain. Yes. And this would have been a highly secure, impenetrable assembly site. Exactly. and. Uh, the secrecy around this place was, was uh, very exceptional, so that uh, the Allies never found, found out about it. Almost nothing exists of the original mine. As the Nazis retreated in 1945, they sealed most of the tunnels, leaving the advanced technology, and some say the scientists who developed it, buried beneath impenetrable walls of rock. But the Allies did capture one man who knew all about this place, and he wasn't a token find. His name was SS General Jakob Sporenberg, and he was in charge of the technical program at the mine. What he revealed astonished his interrogators. Indeed, I find it astonishing 60 years later. He spoke of a secret experiment attempting nothing less than to conquer gravity. He described a bell-shaped device that needed enormous amounts of electrical power. It was made of a hard, heavy metal and filled with a mercury-like substance that was violet in color and glowed when under test. People who worked on the bell suffered from sleep problems and severe vertigo. Five of the seven scientists died while working on the project. In a memo to Hitler, the scientists wrote, it is in our opinion that the scientific results ascertained from our experiments with the bell are truly decisive for the war. Experiments with the bell happened deep underground in the mine, but directly above it, on the surface, was this strange structure. Called the flytrap, it first showed up on an Allied aerial reconnaissance photo in 1944. Igor Witkowski believes that the flytrap was a test rig for advanced propulsion technology. In other words, flying saucers. There is an extremely strong and thick steel reinforcement of the pillars, which means that uh, it was to be, to withstand some great forces working on it. How did it work? We don't know exactly, but we do know from Sporenberg's evidence 
that the Bell was a revolutionary device, and the flytrap, designed as its test rig, was fed with underground cables running to the heart of the structure. So, so the cabling led down here, right the away water from the power station over there. Yes, up to the up to the flytrap. Right. Uh, it was. Uh, well, they're actually they're... virtually filled with uh, high voltage yeah. cables. Uh, as thick as an arm, right. you know the, that that thickness. I, I have a photographs of of uh, of them, and uh, that's just the another strange facts that uh, point out to such a possibility that it would have been used to for some experimental purposes. I mean, they're actually pretty sizable. It's kind of like a meter and a half of, yeah. uh, of concrete lined ducting down here. Yes, exactly. Pretty solid. So. It all adds up to, I mean, pretty strong evidence that the power station over there was just was feeding this tremendous amount of power to the uh, to the facility, the flytrap over there. Just there, exactly. Yeah, yeah. In a way, no, very strong. What Witkowski has uncovered is interesting. I've spent a long time researching the quest to produce anti-gravity technology, the holy grail of aerospace design. Is it possible that the UFO sightings over Nazi Germany were related to this quest? There is a sense here that the Germans were engaged in very highly classified work and that possibly they were engaged in anti-gravity type programs. What I do know is that many of these bizarre projects like the Bell did not remain in German hands. At the end of the war, they were plundered secretly by the American High Command and taken to the States. The speculation about Foo Fighters was about to be overshadowed by one of the most sensational UFO sightings of all the 1947 incident at Roswell in New Mexico. That's where I'm heading next.